Hi, my name is Fidel from MechTech AutoCare and this is my LS powered XR6 Turbo. Fidel, you've probably built, are you just trying to offend people on the internet with this or what? 2K barrel build. <laughs> It's more than 2K, I'll tell you that for sure. Um, now in case you can't tell, this is not a Ford V8, is it? It's a GM-powered LQ9 cast iron block from the States. It's got a 403 stroker kit in yep. there. All the CNC L98 heads were pretty much 823s. So it's based off a 6-litre? Correct, yeah. correct. 6-litre stroke to a 6.8, obviously turbocharged by a big Aeroflow 88mm turbo. We've got the latest fast manifold up the top here. I was actually the first one to purchase one, so yeah, yeah. it was uh, kind of good to see what it's like. Yeah. And it's it's grouse. There's no heat sink at all, and it does its job. And you were saying earlier that this is running a GM computer. That's correct. Yeah. So um, we've pretty much got the GM ECU wired up with the the engine loom going into the body harness by Billy Uden from Frankston mm -hmm. and he he was just great mate he knew what he was doing and he really put the car together he certainly Speedy knows his work. Ford stuff doesn't yeah, he? yeah 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 he's a Ford guru and he was probably the best person I got in contact with to be part of the build he really had his head switched on and a matter of two three weeks the car was going he was yeah he was the last step of the car okay. so okay. the car was fabricated everything was done and then I brought him over to the picture so let's just get back to the elephant in the room here. Yeah. <laughs> Why the LS? What, what, what was wrong? Now, for those that don't know, this was actually, this is a very neat car. Um, this had a, this is a factory XR6 Turbo. It's that's not correct. A, it's not a taxi that's been hotted up. It's, that's correct. It's this a nice was, BF um, Series 2. And so why the LS? I mean, they're both great engines, but... Look, I've got nothing against the Barrows. Barrows are grouse. <laughs> but I've always been a LS type of guy. <laughs> And I'm like, let's spice it up and try and try change things up, and you know, put a, a tough motor in it. And the motors cost a fair bit, really. Mm -hmm. It's not just the LS1 junked yeah. out motor from the wreckers. It's cost me well over twenty-five thousand dollars. And as you can see, I've put all the extras and whatnot. It's been a great build. It sounds good. It goes good. It sounds pretty rowdy. What it's, sort of camshafts in it? It's got a two three two two three four out of one fifteen. Just the grouse combination comes had, on boost. How, like how did you get the switch. engine in there? Because I know when you would have put this in, there wouldn't have been any parts available for There was no it. tough mounts available at the time. Yeah. I dropped the vehicle off to Axentac in Laverton, which a very close mate of mine, and we dummy fit an LS1 motor in there. It was all pretty much all custom made mounts and whatnot. Flat based the, the factory K frame just to get it to sit. We had the height issues, so we had to drop it a bit. Still retains the factory LS1 sump unmaneuvered so that's a that was one less hassle that i had to worry about mm -hmm. um power steering's in in the right place it's probably just a bit tight around the dump pipe yeah, but yeah, it's yeah. it's oval over here so it's mm -hmm. not that bad well it's been running for the last six months haven't had any lead issues custom made turbo manifolds and dump pipe it's got a four inch exhaust system all the way to the k-frame they did all that did they everything in house so pretty much the motor got mounted the turbo works everything was all fabricated at Axon Tax and once the car came back here all the old stuff came out and from then on it was just uh, three months of hard work to yeah, be honest yeah, yeah actually and Holden fans might recognize that I did VNV6 I, I used to have one <laughs> VNV6 top radiator hose XD351 bottom radiator hose to yeah. make it work because you got a bit of an angle there so that's a factory XR6 turbo radiator two core 26 yeah. mil Pretty much a lot of it, people man. use these radiators in other cars. That's correct. They seem to work well. Pretty much the thermo fans, they, they, they use off the AUs and whatnot, but I just left it all factory because everything mounts. Yeah, yeah. I, I wasn't going to design it better than Ford was, to be honest. So exactly. I just left it factory. Yeah. So engine back, what have, you, what have you done there? It's got a case, the two-speed power glide, TCE converter, two-piece uh, GJ driveline style shaft, true track diff, billet shafts, standard 
shock standard suspension, IRS, untouched Arsend, pretty much. Just got the true track and 346 diff gears. This isn't the first, you've had other turbos on this. I've had a G GDX 55 prior to this, this turbo on the vehicle. They made 803 kilowatts at uh, 20 psi. Yeah. Hopefully we can get 750 kilowatts at 22 psi from this one here. Okay. That's an 88 mil 88 Aeroflow turbo. Yeah. Yep. Yep. You haven't run, run it before. Have I you? haven't personally raced the car, but the the vehicle had been raced with uh, 500 kilowatts in a barra. Yeah. The turbo 400 ran 990 at. 145, I okay. think it was, falls along. Yep. It is a heavy car, it weighs 2,200 kilos, yes. and I'm not like myself, yeah, so yeah. it's uh, it's going to be a mission. We're hoping to get it into the eights. I think yeah. that'd be pretty awesome, yeah. Made anything out of something like this. If it runs 160 yeah. mile an hour, I reckon we've, we've got a good build, to be honest. Are you going to keep the LS in there long term, or you're not sure? Who knows what the future holds? Mm. You know, it can and it can't. Yeah. I can probably pull the cast off and just put an alloy block in there, maybe to you know have a nice, more drivable, less weight you know vehicle. You could easily put a barrier in this, haven't you? It's not like you've hacked it all up. No, 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 no. I can go to the wreckers and just get a fifty-dollar K frame and <laughs> yeah. put a barrier back in it. Yeah. It's uh, yeah, it's no biggie. Now we're gonna run next door to check it on the garage Dino works at garage works and uh, see how she goes. But you had it idling before and she's rowdy. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>